everybody. It's Cindy Matalucci, your host of The Pulse and live with Cindy. It's Friday, July 17th. We are into summer. Wow, it has been a roller coaster of a week, guys. I mean, well, a roller coaster of a year, I think we should say. But it has really been a week. I mean, from the ups and downs, we were closed, we were open, we're closing again. So I know there's a lot of anxiety out there, you guys, and I just want you to know our hearts are with all the business owners right now. We wanna do anything that we can do to support you, um, be a resource for you, and of course, have you tune in at least to kind of get away from the anxiety and have some fun and be the light in your life and bring you some entertainment. We think it's really important, especially this time, you know, with everything that's going on. If you've got a story, if there's something we can help you get out there, feature your business, hit us up on social media at The Pulse SD or on the website, thepulsesd.com, and hopefully we can get you on the show. The other thing, you guys, is I really want you to be safe out there. Um, I know it's annoying with masks. I have mask <laughs> which is like acne now with because I'm wearing a mask. So I know it's not fun, but you guys, there's a lot about this virus we don't know. And it's obviously, you know, a lot is going on and the numbers are skyrocketing. So please be careful out there, wear your mask. We're doing everything on set six feet apart. As you can see, our whole team is wearing masks. We've got our procedures in place, but we do think it's important to bring you resources and stories. So we will continue to do that but I want you guys to be safe, okay? So enough of my soapbox today. I'll get off my soapbox and we'll have some fun. But real quick, I do wanna shout out to um, Passion by Servi for my jewelry today. I love her, she's in UTC. She's also available online. She makes ethical jewelry and her pieces are gorgeous. So mwah, thank you so much for those and I'll be rocking more of those on the show. And you can find out what I'm wearing at thepulsesd.com. Get Cindy's look and find all the designers that I'm wearing because I'm trying to support local designers. So I'll be wearing a lot of local designers as well. Okay guys, so guess what? It's the best day ever. It's cupcakes and cocktails. Yeah. Yes, if that doesn't make you happy, I don't know what does because if I even think about cupcakes, I literally dance. So we're so excited. We have one of our favorite guests today. We have Renato Catello from Yummy Cupcakes in Encinitas. Thanks, Cindy, for having me. Oh, my God. So we love when he comes. Our whole staff is salivating before you get here <laughs> because we're like, what's he going to bring for us today? <laughs> we're so excited. We've had him on the show, and we love having him. We, we love supporting him, and we love his cupcakes and all of his desserts. So we have to talk about some things today before we get started on what you brought today because you're celebrating seven years in business. It's your anniversary. It is our month, uh, seven years, going strong in Encinitas. Um, couldn't have imagined a better spot to have opened, surprisingly. Um, the community has been extremely supportive during this process as well. But for the last seven years, we've been lucky. We've uh, been featured uh, in local, local TV and, and also uh, magazines throughout the country. So I'm thrilled about the success and we're looking forward to future we just, uh, we're doing all the right things currently to make sure we're safety, uh, precautions, and making sure our staff is healthy and, and well as well. Well, congratulations. We are not surprised that it's seven years. I mean, we're so excited. We're so happy to celebrate with you. And then the other thing is you are nominated and you're always nominated for best of, <laughs> Thank but you. San Diego Rita, Reader has the best of right now. It's best dessert or bakery, right? It is indeed, yeah. So how do people, so how can they vote and what, what time frame? When do they need to vote by? So it's uh, the month of July and it is, uh, ends July 31st. So uh, please get your votes in and you can go to the SD Reader and it's categories. Just look for the eating segment and category and then we're best uh, being nominated for best desserts and bakery. Yes, and we have the link up. So vote, vote, vote. We love it. We'll please, please, we've already please. voted. Yay. <laughs> so we're so excited about that. Okay. so. I know it's been a crazy year with COVID-19, <laughs> but you have really done a lot to pivot and really help your community and make them feel safe. So let's talk a little bit about the options that you're offering. And I know you brought some of those today. Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 for us, it's really important to be safe and to be healthy and to make sure we still provide the quality ingredients and, and product that we offer on a regular basis. We did have to change some of our presentation um, so when now we used to do over, over 40 flavors baked fresh daily, um, we're now down to 24 flavors because all product is displayed on a pedestal with a cover uh, so our clients can come in and our customers can see what is available, but it's also protected from the elements of the things around us. 
So we're, we're really happy that we made this decision. Uh, the idea here today was to bring all of our prepackaged goods so that uh, our clients can know that when they come into the shop, they can find cookie, uh, cookie dough in a push pop, um, cupcakes in a jar. Uh, we have our prepackaged mini assorted boxes available daily. Our cupcake truffles are signature items of ours, and they're prepackaged as well. So again, nothing is exposed. It's completely covered. And then, of course, all our, our team wears our, our masks, our gloves the entire time. So uh, we look forward to your visit. The cookie dough, can we talk about this? It is. Um, it's edible cookie dough. It's um, no egg. Uh, it's heat-treated flour, so there's no issues with um, having a tummy ache or you know, having salmonella from eggs. So it's actually uh, made and processed at our shop on a daily basis because we sell so much of it. You can actually bake it as well if you wanted. Um, we just, we sell so many of them in the push pop that it's, uh, it's kind of a fun little item. We just launched our gluten-free vegan uh, chocolate chip cookie dough as well. Yes, um, please. And so that's always a fun one because, you know, we do know that there's a lot of dietary restrictions. Um, so we try and make sure that we offer gluten-free, gluten-free only, vegan only, and gluten-free and vegan options. And we're actually doing sugar-free on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, so we'd like to make sure that we cover all our bases. And these are gluten-free and they're all going in my belly <laughs> after this. <laughs> these are all for me. Specifically so made excited. just for you, yes. Well, and I have to say, this is a great gift idea, right? Especially right now. Yeah, thank you. Um, actually, a lot of our corporate clients that we were working with prior to COVID um, would be monthly service. Uh, we would bring cupcakes to their staff and, and so on. Now that all of them are working from home, the corporate executives are now sending those gifts to their clients. So we offer that service as well, prepackaged uh, delivery service for anybody that may need or want um, to send a gift or some kind of a thank you, uh, we do offer that. If you sent me cupcakes, I would love you. Thank you very much. It's a perfect gift, you guys, especially right now. And there's something for everyone. I love that. So I also want to talk about your cakes. I know we didn't bring any cakes today, but you've displayed your cakes before. Yeah. So you do custom cakes. We do. Um, actually, we offer um, from four inch to you know four to four to five six tiered cakes. Um, of course, nobody's ordering those these days. Um, however, we do offer all custom cakes. Um, only because everyone has a different palette, everyone has a different uh, design option, and I have a really incredible staff still on that works daily with me, uh, and we're producing some great cakes and having a lot of fun with them. And I think we're showing some cakes um, that you did for my birthday. I have to shout out to you guys. I had this like picture, I had this idea for my party in the yard, and I wanted it to be whimsical. And you guys just blew it out of the park. Well, thank you. I thank mean, you for that, that custom cake, and it was gluten-free, red velvet, which is my favorite. So shout out to you for that. Thank you so much. Of course. And I believe your cake started $18. They do, yeah. The um, smaller ones. The four-inch smash cakes, I and mean, we use those a lot for just individual personalized cakes. And we do that for first birthdays as well. Um, it's kind of fun for kids to get into the first time having sugar. So we just give them a little four inch, but those started $18 and of course, you know, our designs have gone up to over a thousand. So uh, it all depends on what your inspiration is. Uh, if you have an idea, please reach out for us in Encinitas. Uh, we'd be happy to work with you. Well, and I have to ask you, what are your most popular items? Oh, that is such a good one. Um, you know, f fortunately for us, when we offer 20 some, you know, flavors a day, uh, most people can come in and frequently ask for carrot cake, lemon tart bar, uh, and these are all, of course, cupcakes. Um, so when we can offer a variety of flavors, chocolate, vanilla, fruit, vegetable, <laughs> and citrus, uh, I think we kind of cover the gamut. We're kind of like your one-stop shop for a uh, farmer's market. Well, and what I love, and I think we're going to showcase it now, is we have your calendar. So you can always go to the website and you can see the calendar of all of the flavors that they have. We have the July calendar, and you guys do that every time. We do that. Um, right now, during COVID, we actually closed a few days a, uh, a week. You know, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, but our menu has stayed the same. Uh, we're offering some seasonal items, and then occasionally I'll offer a one-off on the weekends just to bring in some fun extra flavor. And the decorating stuff. Are you still doing the decorating? Oh, yeah. Ugh. That's yeah. a great gift too. It is a great, yeah. The decorating kit is fun to do at home. It's a um, 
12 unfrosted cupcakes. You get four tubs of frosting to um, have fun with. Uh, sprinkles uh, of many different types that you can choose. You can even order the naked, we'll call them naked cupcakes, the unfrosted cupcakes um, in gluten-free or vegan or gluten-free and vegan if you'd like. So yeah, those are available just 24 hour notice, please. And it keeps your kids busy for a while too, it, right? It gets a little messy, <laughs> so I do it outside. All you moms out there, this is perfect for you. <laughs> So I love that. And then I know you have different hours now, but what's the best way for people to order from you? What's the best process? I love that you're asking that question. Um, because we are a custom bake shop, you know, we always recommend people calling. Um, we, we prefer to have that that one-on-one -on -one conversation because there are so many specific decorations. There's so many dietary restrictions. There are so many things that need to be addressed. Um, you're welcome to email uh, at special events at yummycupcakes.com. Um, and I'm, you know, we have a team of people that actually provide some response. Um, but again, it's better to call 760-452-8136. We're, we're here for you. I love that. Well, you guys vote for him for best of. You guys, we have all the links on the website. We'll have links for you to see the calendar, everything that they've got. And we just love having you. I, thank you for having me. I'm always honored. Oh, we're so excited. We'll be following you and we'll be doing some Facebook Lives from his location too. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. So thank you so much. And we're going to take a quick break, you guys. Um, we have a commercial for you. We're going to give you a little sizzle of our new TV episode that's airing on Channel 4 next Thursday. So I'm going to be showing you a little snippet of Christy Hall, founder of Michael Christie Skincare, and then also Brandon Berkson. Um, he's with Hotels Above Par. So take a quick look at this commercial, and when we come back, we're mixing up a cocktail with Gaston from Izo Mezcal. We'll Cheers. see you. Salute. We'll be eating cupcakes. <laughs> All right, do we do it? Just give us a little slice of what we can expect with your book. So I wrote this book based on the millions of consults that I do with my patients. And really, one of my biggest goals is to kind of re-educate on what does skincare mean? How do I achieve ageless beauty? Um, and so I, I put all of this into the book, not only in greater detail about what skincare ingredients you know make a big impact but how do you know when to move deeper into the skin so how do we know when we want to do a laser on the skin or when we need Botox and fillers uh, you know and how to achieve that and then how to focus from the inside out with a good diet so you know as I said I had this amazing position where I was working at a travel PR firm and I've always loved travel I've always loved hotels so when I was furloughed I was devastated. It was absolutely awful. But, you know, I wanted to support girls during a time when they needed our love most because we, they need to stay relevant. They need to be talked about right now. And I wanted to stay connected with the hotel industry, with my favorite hotels, with travel. So thus came Hotels Above Par, a tasteful Insta guide that inspires hotel enthusiasts throughout the world. It is geared towards um, hit millennial travelers. And one thing I also want to say that I love, this, that I really wanted to create when I did this, is it is a guide that it has concise 250 words or less descriptions paired with aesthetically pleasing, beautiful photos. So, you know, it really gear, it's really geared towards millennial, and it's for people who love hotels like me. Me too. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live with Cindy. I'm your host, Cindy Matalucci. Okay, so we had cupcakes and now we have cocktails. I'm so excited. I have Gaston Martinez, CEO and founder of Iso Mezcal. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. So he was supposed to be here a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then everything happened. So we had been pushing everything back. And then Instagram, I got to talk to you on Instagram on yeah, the Instagram did, uh, live show. Yes, we did. Yeah. It was so fun. that was really fun. And then I get to meet him in person and, and see how tall you are. <laughs> yeah, only 6'6". Only six, six. <laughs> but I'm so excited to have you here. I, I really want to talk about everything that you're doing. Um, Thank you. it's, it's so exciting. So let's start out with... A little bit of the history for people that don't know about Iso Mezcal and, and sort of your inspiration for it. Great, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I'm Gaston, founder of uh, the Iso Mezcal. What we're trying to accomplish here, uh, bring a little bit of my, my uh, hometown experience and uh, the way that we celebrate uh, through the Mezcal. Mezcal has been in the history for 500 years, doing the Mezcal in, in Mexico. and. Uh, I was born in uh, Durango, and it was one of the regions that uh, produced mezcal. And my idea to put everything together, right, 
bring that culture, that history, that celebration to San Diego, and that is why. I love that. So, I mean, there's a, a process that goes into making this. We have to yes. talk a little bit about this. So you cook the agave hearts in volcanic ovens and extract the juice there you go. to fill the fermentation. I mean, I was like <laughs> reading about this and I'm like, it's not an easy process. No, it's a very hands-on uh, process. It's like more like uh, um, you know, handcrafted. We, we have the distillery down in Durango and then we send a set of uh, himadores. We harvest the agave. The right agave it takes only 10 years to be ready. Only 10 years. Yeah, and then uh, we, we bring it back to the distillery and then we cook the agave hearts in a fire pit for uh, maybe three to four days. And we let it sit and then we grind it, we ferment it, double distillation, filtration, and then we bottle it. Oh my gosh. We do everything ourselves. Well, and I, what I also love about you guys is the sustainability, because yes. you have that component as well with like solar paneled water treatment, we, we right? Got, we got uh, our water treatment uh, uh, that is amassed. We have our own well, we have solar panels, and uh, even the fiber, when we do the process after we squeeze uh, the juice from the agave heart, you know, that fiber called gavasso, we give it back to the cows nearby and then uh, there's no waste. And then also the bee colony, right? Yes, we, we have that for, for because our fermentation is, an, is a natural uh, uh, fermentation. The yeast uh, gets through the old you know, uh, surroundings and they, we have uh, this colony of bees that help us to produce that. That is so interesting. I love that. That's great. And, and we were talking about going down to the distillery, so stay tuned for that. Yes, At yes. some point, I'm going. <laughs> so there's a lot going on with COVID, and I know you've really helped yes. and pivoted, and I want to talk about that today because I know that, that you're making sanitizer. You're doing a lot of things right now. We, we stopped our production down in, Mex in Durango, I mean, to produce a hand sanitizer in, uh, for our community uh, and then just give it away. I mean, the, it was kind of like more into uh, that we have to do something and we have to be proactive. And then we, we just start producing, produce hand sanitizer and give away. And, and here in San Diego, we knowing that this industry is hurt and uh, all, the, all the bartenders that actually, you know, make the extra income with the tips and all that, we create like a, this uh, challenge for close to 100 uh, bartenders to produce a, a unique cocktail with us, uh, wow. our product. And that was pretty neat. And we choose the five winners and we give them some money and those. That's great. So you're supporting the bar community, the of restaurant course. community, which I know is so hard right now. Our, our hearts are just like going out to them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know. Do you think you'll do something like that again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a great experience for us. And uh, we interact, uh, we connect with, uh, I mean, the bartenders for uh, us is like uh, our brand ambassadors, right? right. I mean, uh, if they understand who we are, what we do, and then connect with us, it will be a no-brainer for them to expose our brand and uh, it's, everybody wins. That's, that's the whole point. I love that. I love that. So, okay, so I have to ask, because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people want to know, what is what is the difference of Mezcal? What, what's different about Mezcal than... From, from tequila, yeah. from all that? The, well, a few things. First, the agave. In, in tequila, uh, they, they use a blue agave, one single agave. And in Mezcal, we can use close to 50 different type of agaves. Depends on the region. Oh, okay. The way we we process the, the agave, we cook it, we kind of smoke it. Okay. And in tequila, we kind of pressure cook it. Okay. And then uh, ours is all wild. I mean, we just go and find it in, in the wild. Uh, our himadores go with a set of monkeys, I mean, monkeys, donkeys. And then <laughs> uh, they, they harvest, they bring it back, and we do the whole process. And uh, I love it. I lived in Mexico for a few months, so I am a fan, and I've had yours. So. I really love it. So, okay, so today you're going to make a cocktail for us because it's all about summer cocktails. I don't know, yeah. I mean, what are we making? Well, it's my own version of a margarito, right? Uh, um, we integrate that cool name, adding the, our, our brand name at the end of the margarita. It's margarito. Okay. It's because uh, you do your margarita with Arisa Mezcal. Oh. Well, and we do have to mention, I do want to say something about the bottles because you're, there's something very unique. I don't know if you guys can pan in here, but... Talk to us about your. Oh bottles. yeah, this is. Um, let me. Let me. Uh, this, this is, is very cool. This is uh, real onyx. Mm. It's handmade uh, onyx. Each bottle is unique. We outsource the onyx from Durango, and then we send it to Puebla. They manufacture the little uh, um, onyx cap, and then uh, we assemble the cork in our factory. The cool thing about this is, yeah, every bottle is unique. There's and not one that's the same. They won't. They won't be a, a too identical, and then you get in a unique product, and that kind of makes a really special touch. I mean, when you buy it for you for a gift or anything, I mean, it's kind of like, oh my god, this is so so amazing. I love it. All right, so margarito. I cannot wait. How do we do it? Well, obviously some ice, and I have some 
nice rock eyes. Ooh. And uh, if you want to, uh, today is um, Friday, right? Yes. Will be two hands will be okay? Yeah. Friday, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like I'm not going to the gym today. <laughs> I guess I'm not, I'm not going to work out today. We do uh, two ounces of uh, San Diego, and I already know how to measure that. And um, I brought some grape juice. Ooh. And I think, uh, you know, these grape mixers, one of the cool things about right now that people stay home, mm -hmm. how to create a nice cocktail, you know, with basic stuff, right? You can find these ones uh, at the, maybe some Costco's. And um, it's a nice, mixer and then we do splash of uh, Grammarnier just to be Ooh. on the fancy side and then you like spicy I do okay I got this bitters okay. serrano bitters and then you do maybe like a uh, three drops okay just to be and then uh, a blood orange just for so the touch. fancy I love it. Let me, because you gotta make one too, of right? Of course, yeah, yeah. We need to. But this is easy. This seems like a simple drink it's, to it's me. It's a simple, yeah. It's just kind of like a, a very nice, simple, and easy to to do it. A little bit of uh, two ounces of cocktail. I mean, two ounces of uh, it's a mezcal. You're ready. Mix that. Whatever you you find is is great. But this grapefruit, I, I really like it. And could you substitute the bitters? Oh some, yeah. I mean, is it? No, you can, you can do a lot. Of, there's a lot of bitters right now that you can actually use. I like it because it's a little bit spicy. Give you okay. a kick. But just a tiny kick. Splash of grandma here. Some bitters. I'll do maybe five. I like easy cocktails. <laughs> yeah, these, these are like a nice to do home, I guess. Cheers. Salud, happy Friday. Salud, it's, ha it's Friday, you guys. Yeah. Mmm, that is good. That's smooth. Smooth, it's I mean. It's really smooth. Our, our, our um, mezcal is 47 uh, alcohol content. I mean, it has some punch, but f for us, the way we did it is uh, very smooth and refined, a very silky finish. Uh, and it's, you don't have to feel that punch. You have to feel that just the taste. Yeah, it's very good. I love this. Okay, so you told me you brought something unique here mm -hmm. today. We got to talk about this. Um, this is our new member of the family. This is a mezcal ensemble. That means that we blend two types of agaves. In Durango, we have uh, five or six different types of agaves, and then we do like a cenizo, that is the main agave, with uh, lamparillo. Okay. And then we cook it together, and it, it gets a really completely different uh, profile. And also, Sotol. Sotol is becoming quite popular. The, the most popular uh, agave spirit will be tequila, then mezcal, and then Sotol. Sotol is a more like a desert type of plant, and it takes like 15 years to, to, get, uh, to grow up uh, in the full size to be able to harvest. Wow. And uh, this is more like a grassy, dry, uh, you know, herbs, something like that. It's, it's really, really cool. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have to ask you, I heard a little rumor that you're coming out with some new products. Mm -hmm. right, can you tell us? Or, so the, are these th Those two, and then also... We well, you told me something else, too. Yeah, we're going to do our tequila. We're actually going to do a, a extra Añejo Cristalino. If you're not familiar, when you do the word Cristalino, it's like a, the tequila has been aged for three years, but they go through a process of uh, a filter that actually take the color out. It's a clear tequila, oh, wow. which actually is aged. And then Bacanora is also another uh, distillery from uh, north of Mexico, from Sonora. And uh, we're also going to bring uh, a Reposado, our Mezcal Reposado. We're going to bring a whole line, yeah. That's so exciting. And I know you have some fun merchandise and stuff like that on your website. But so tell everybody where they can go to get their hands on this. Well, I mean, uh, obviously our, our website, uh, you can do it online. We have a special code uh, for You for guys are viewers. offering something today, yes, right? Yes, of course. 
ESO FAM20, they will give you 20% discount. Normally, you don't get those type of discounts. You get like $5 and all that. You're part of the family now. ESO FAM20, I-Z-O-F-A-M-20. And then uh, with that, you go online, you, you enter that code and give you a 20% discount. That's and there's good. like four ways to buy online. You can f see everything, like Costco, right? Yeah, the, the Costco part here in Southern California, I mean, the, yeah, we, we got a great deal. Uh, we are the first mezcal company in Costco. They never had any other mezcal before, and then when they saw our product quality, and uh, we are award-winning uh, mezcal, we just entered in uh, San Francisco. Well, you won Spirit the Proof Challenge. Awards, right? The Proof Awards, uh, but the, one of the most important ones is the uh, San Francisco Spirit Challenge. Okay. It's worldwide, and uh, uh, we compete. Oh. This is a blind tasting, uh, 25 judges, and, and uh, it's all you know organic. I mean, they, they don't get influenced by nothing, and then we get some award, and that's, that validates our company, our, our process, and uh, what we do. And you haven't been around that long, so you're already winning awards. Yes, I mean, uh, because uh, we started this company in 2018, but 2017, we put it all together. In 2018, we start production, and uh, we land our product 2019. Okay. And uh, here we are. And here we are. Well, congratulations on Thank all your you. success. Thank you. Appreciate we it. love it. We're going to drink our cocktails now, so check everything out. You guys, <laughs> we have the website up. We have everything. You can find the information. ISOFAM20 for 20% off, so use that code, and then we'll have to have you back to make another drink. For sure, we'll, we'll showcase uh, the tequila or any of the other ones. I mean, for sure. And, uh, I love it. We'll do that. Well, thanks so much for being here, you guys. Well, my pleasure. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time when we put our finger on the pulse of San Diego. Cheers, you guys. Happy Friday. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Yay.